ஓம் சாந்தி ஓம் சாந்தி ஓம் சாந்தி ஐ திங்க் இட் இஸ் ஓகே யூ கேன் கீப் யுவர் ஆடியோ சிஸ்டம் இன் அ மியூட் பட் இன் கேஸ் யூ வாண்ட் டு டர்ன் ஆன் யுவர் வீடியோ யூ ஆர் ஃபீல் ஃப்ரீ டு டூ ஸோ நாவ் யூ ஆல் ஆர் கெட்டிங் டு கேதர் end of the day and i'm sure everybody had a different experience from morning till now you may be very busy maybe certain situations went the way you plan certain situation may be different so let's make ourselves little peaceful little stable so whatever we will hear we can absorb it so i invite you to take some deep breath close and open your eyes and take your shoulders up back and down very gently close open your eyes take deep breath hold your breath release your breath take your shoulders up back and down and feel very comfortable and then you say om and shanti om is universal sacred mantra and shanti means peace so you can say in your heart om shanti om shanti om shanti very good i'm sure you all are feeling very relaxed and comfortable and ready to enjoy this evening together this is just we are sitting together and having a kind of sharing because as a human being we all are family on this planet so we world one family and so in the family what happens so the head of our organization Dari Janki who left body when she was 104 years old she was always sharing her divine wisdom she was one of the wisdom keepers and she was one of the most stable mind lady in the world i am sure those who know about our brain waves Now they say it's alpha, beta, data, and delta, something like that. I am not an expert in it, but whatever I have heard has always touched my heart. To say that the way you think, the way your feelings are arising, the way your emotions are flowing, you receive that kind of experience. and your brain can reflect all this expression and they value it and they see it through the machine and they said ekg machine or something like that but when you are in a sound sleep in a very peaceful serene place of your mind then you reflect delta waves which consider very high quality of your being very high level of your personality that you are in a sound stage of your serenity and the way our late daddy chanki's test happened she was by working talking attending meetings consulting administrative situation her brain was reflecting delta waves all the time 
Isn't it interesting? Do we all like that kind of thing? You can say right now, what kind of waves your brain is reflecting or could be reflecting? Alpha, beta, theta or delta. In which stage, how you can grade yourself, right? Alpha means less stable, beta means little stable, theta means little stable and delta means highest level of stability in a simple definition, simple language. So if I have to tell myself what kind of waves I am reflecting, what is happening right now, if I can do my own personal x-ray of my own personality, my own being, put your hand on your heart and think it. How you feel about it? Hmm? So, I like some stories that I feel they can see in situation of my being and I can help others to see their being. In Indian scriptures, there are certain very interesting stories. And one of the stories is that there are two groups of different personality. And one is known as devils and one is known as deities. It's devilish personality, deity personality. So now devils have always complained to God that you are always doing little favor to deities. And God said, no, I don't do favor to anyone. I am just detached. But they were not ready to believe. They were not ready to accept it. So said, let's do one experiment. Okay. So one day, God invited everyone for one big dinner party. There were two big halls, dining halls, and everything was available to make a long story short. But the door of the dining hall, it was written, that you can eat whatever you want to eat, how much, etc. But you cannot bend your hand from your elbow. You can do everything. But you have to eat without bending your hand, elbow. Okay. So they both the groups went to both the dining halls. It was very strange. You know, you can even try. Can you eat without bending your elbow? Try it. Can you try it? <laughs> Can you eat without bending your elbow? Right. So what happened that deities figure out some technique and they started enjoying it and devils were upset. You see God is making fun of us and etc. etc. Then finally God comes to visit to devils dining hall. And they were all upset and crying this that didn't work out and as soon as God came they had so many complaints and etc etc so God said it's okay come with me so they all came and they reached near the dining hall of the deities and they all were enjoying it and you can see they were having a, some nice time you know and uh, they were laughing, smiling. So devils became, said, maybe you gave some extra technique to them. God said, no, you come in. And anyway, so they came in. And what they saw was deities created a system. Because they were sitting on the dining table, some here, some here, right? And so one was feeding to another and another was feeding to another. So I will feed you, you feed me. So you don't need to bend el elbow when you have to feed somebody, right? And they can also fe feed you without bending their elbow. So they, they were enjoying it. 
They said, okay, you feed me this, you said, you feed me this, and finally they had a good time together. So God said, see, you had a lots of complaints, many complaints, and here they are enjoying it without any other thoughts. So that's what happens in our life. That if I choose to enjoy my life, I have to find the way out. Everything may be, the, it will not be the way I want, but it will be the way I can enjoy. So this is a kind of a mindset. So I have to figure what do I want in my life and how do I want in my life. So once I know, how do I want it? Then we can figure that out. Somebody was asking to our, one of the senior yogi, that why is rainbow seven color? They said, you don't like it? I said, I'm just asking. I like it. So if rainbow has a seven color and you like it, what is representing it? That it's a combination of variety of colors. It's a combination of variety of thoughts, variety of personalities, variety of way of thinking, variety way of belief system. Isn't it interesting? So it says that if it, on this planet there are only peacocks, no parrot, no sparrow, no any other birds, do we like it? Although peacock is beautiful, but do we like it? There are all variety kinds of birds are there. In the garden also, if there's only one kind of flower and one kind of color of the flower, nothing else. No, we will not like it. Variety flowers, variety color, variety fragrance, variety season, variety blooming happens. So, actually, when somebody thinks, why not my way? Or I wish it would be my way. It is not that person fault. It is very, very subtle psychological situation. Because sometimes person goes through variety experiences, variety episodes in the life. And then finally it reaches to the place. Whatever I'm saying is also valuable. It has also some, you know, um, something special in that or something useful. So it's a subtle level that if somebody can find the time to sit with me and we can figure out. Because life is all about creating harmony. You know, these five fingers are not same. But can you imagine if these five fingers will be saying what will happen? We will not be able to function the way we are able to function. It's a very special designing, natural designing. And they say that once there was a situation, these five fingers started fighting. One said, I am special, they said, I am special, I am special. Everybody had a, some reason to say, I am special. They said, you know, people say, God is up there, but they use me. They said, this is the, I am tall one. They said, this is the ring finger. This is the finger that Krishna hold the Govardhan mountain. This thumb said, this is the, you know, powerful expression, etc., etc." So they went to one saint and said, I am important. Saint said, yeah, I agree with you. 
But here is little cookie dough. Cookie actually, all the ingredients of the cookie. Can you make the dough with, by yourself? Can you make the cookies by yourself? They try it. Only one finger can make the dough. Can make the cookie, make, put it in the oven. Cannot do it. So this is the real mindset we can develop or we can have. That life is all about cooperation. Life is all about mutual acceptance. Life is all about mutual understanding. If we understand this one little aspect of the life, then everything can be fine. There is a, something, was a movie was, what the blue do I know? Something like that, you know? There is a one movie was about secret and another movie was, what the, what the bleep, yeah, what the bleep do I know? Something like that, you know? Right, something like that. So it is like, you know, sometimes we feel like what I'm sharing is very valuable and it could be valuable, but it could be for everybody. Even if we follow someone's way, it's fine, no problem. But if it is bringing benefit to everybody, everybody should know it. So we have to express this, we have to communicate in a way. But sometimes what happens that we go into little external part so much and we forget the real substance of it. Hmm? I always like stories, so you all like the story. Can I share one more story? Because certain things are such that it's not somebody can preach you or teach you or explain you. But we can see through example and click on to create new programming. Because it's all about certain situations in the life made us feel certain things and we created certain programming. So we said, now I'm not going to believe you, I'm not going to believe you. Sometimes it happens, somebody gave us wrong direction, wrong advice, cheaters, deceivers, we tried to follow, didn't work out, et cetera, et cetera. They said, well, I would have done it my way, I would. I would have done it. Every time we fail, I follow this person or I follow this guidance direction didn't work out. Then finally, we reach to that place that rather I would have just did what I had to do. I would not at least be deceived or something like that. So whoever has this kind of belief system, we should have a lots of mercy for them, lots of compassion for them. And if they are doing with me, if one of my family member or one of the, my friends, I have to have lots of forgiveness for them. Because it is the result of certain things they have gone through. Because normally we said, oh, they have an ego or they have an arrogance or why they are holding or why they are doing this. These are all surface matter. It is like a little, you know, what is in the ocean, what you say like an iceberg. So you are seeing the tip of that iceberg. But it's not real, it's not true. The down below, there is a bigger part in that. So anything, not only these kind of things, but anything happen or any person is reflecting, expressing, reacting for something, it means there is something inside going on. What we are seeing on a superficial or surface level is just this much. But there's a bigger part is in that. And if we see with that, because when we are coming from the spiritual aspect, spiritual perspective, then, excuse me, then we are seeing things with total different dimension. And then we will have so much mercy.
so much compassion, so much forgiveness. So I was trying to share a story that there was a one professor, they had a, some reunion of all the students in the college or something like that. And so he invites all the students to come to his house for just little tea or coffee, something like that. And purposely what he did was, that was a table, got ready, a variety tea, coffee, etc. And there are many cups there. It's all variety colors, little old looking, little nice looking, little new looking, all kinds of. And he said, okay, have everything ready, please come and take your cup and take your tea and coffee. Now what happened? Anybody can reply what happened? What could have happened? What happened? That everybody trying to get some nice beautiful color, beautiful design on the cup and things like that. And he kept little more than it necessary. So there were some cups left, which was mostly old or old looking. So then everybody got the cup and coffee and they all were seated. And so he said that he was asking them, wait a minute before you drink. They all said, oh my goodness, what's that? He said, are you drinking cup or are you drinking coffee or tea? Mm -hmm. So they were surprised. They said, we are drinking tea or coffee, of course, sir. He said, when you were choosing your cup, what was in your mind? Right? So when they were using their cup, what was in the mind? That I would have a nicer cup. He said that you were looking for the cup. You didn't realize it. You are not going to drink the cup. You are going to hold your drink in your cup. So that kind of situation happens in our life. That we are looking external things and extern giving importance to external aspect, not the real substance, real, uh, real thing. So we have a different choices that we can say about we can go in a detail why there are different personality, why there are different people want different things happen different way. So we can go in that. We can go on and on and on. Or we can just say stop here. What do I want to do? What everybody else is doing is a different thing. What do I want to do in my life? How do I want to live my life? What is important for me in my life? Is the relationship, is the love, is the kindness, is compassion, joyful feeling, peaceful feeling. There are so many people. They fight, battle, quarrel, to prove that they are right. They are, what they are saying is important or is valuable. But then at the night time, they could not sleep peacefully. Then they have so many kinds of health situation. Sometimes they cannot eat properly or eat enough also. There are so many research happen that all this kind of physical, mental situations and kind of experiences that brings uncomfortable feeling or pain or sorrow is all because of inner tightness. We can say, I want to live my life with lightness not tightness. 
if I said this thing should happen this way. So one person can become wise and sensible then everybody can have peace. Because sometimes what happens that in your relationship, either it's a work relationship, family or friends or social relation. If somebody said, I am saying is right. Okay. Then there should be one person said, yeah, yeah, you are right. Let's do it way. Okay. You just become a person of little big heart. And if person says, you know, this is the way I want to do it and you will also do it. Okay, I'm ready to do it. Then you said, but wait a minute. Let's write down pros and cons of we will do this. What will happen? We will do like this, 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 and what will be exams or a challenges will come. Then you can gently say, how about we can do this way and this way? Certain ideas of yours and certain ideas of mine, and we can come together. Then what will happen? We will create the harmony. We will create the unity. We will create the joyful feelings. So one thing we all can remember. God has given a life as a human being. It's a gift. We are here on this planet to play our part. Shakespeare said this world is drama stage. We all are actors. And we all are here to play our parts. We are not here as a reactors, we are here as an actors. So we have to talk to ourselves. What do we want in our life? We want peace, love, joy, acceptance, appreciation, or we want battle and flight. Hmm? Like Duryodhana, you know, in one of the Indian scripture stories. Duryodhana was always a personality that said, the way I said is right and everybody is wrong. But that's not true. If we can do that, it's our choice. So it is a time now to reset, redesign, remodel, reshape the quality of my life. What kind of quality of my life I want? If I want peaceful, loveful, joyful quality of my life, then I have to start everything with that. Because certain things, you can make it happen. But afterwards, you don't get real peace then you are paying the big price of making something happen to lose your peace, to lose your love, to lose your lightness. Once there is a very good story that Gautam Buddha was sitting in meditation and one person comes and starts saying, inappropriate words to him or a abusive language, language for him. Keep saying it. He was upset. He was angry for something. He was keep talking, keep talking, saying you are, you are doing this, not good, etc, etc. And Gautam Buddha was listening it with half eyes closed, maintaining his peace, maintaining his calmness. Finally, that person got tired and said, are you listening or not? He said, I'm listening, but not accepting. You know, he was detached. 
So it is coming to me and I am putting it aside. It's coming to me and putting it aside. It's coming to me and putting it aside. Whatever you said, I didn't let it touch my head or heart. And I let it be out. He said, you didn't take anything? He said, no, I didn't take anything. I was accepting you as you are. And I was not accepting what you were telling me because I am what I am. And you are what you are. You have a right to be. So it was very interesting that he realized that if I am keep throwing out this is kind of a rubbish and somebody is not accepting it. So it just came back to me maybe. And he realized that this is not something useful to me. So one thing we all remember, there are so many, this world is world of variety of beings, variety of human beings. We all like in our life all kinds of varieties. You don't like to eat every single day one kind of food. You don't like to wear only one kind of dress. You don't like every day only one kind of things. You like little change. You like little newness. You like little variety, little creativity, something different. So we all come to the place that this world is just like a garden, variety flowers, like a place where the variety birds, variety animals, everything variety. And it adds the beauty. And so here also there are all variety kinds of people there. So I have to make sure that I keep good wishes and pure feelings for everyone. Otherwise, what will happen? That I will lose my peace of mind. And I cannot afford to lose my peace of mind. One hand, people want to do things own way. On the other hand, they want peace, love, and joy. It's not possible. It is like you lost your key in some place and you are trying to find in other place. I'm sure so many of you know the story that one person was trying to find the lost keys down below the trap uh, street light. He was looking and looking and looking and some, um, some neighbors were noticing it and they came along and said, what happened? You are here for a long time. He said, I lost my keys. So they also tried to help. And they said, it's not there. So then one of the wise person said, are you sure you lost your keys here? He said, yeah, I didn't lose my key here. I lost it there. He said, where well, you lost it? Why are you not looking at that place? Because you will only be able to find the keys where you have lost it. He said, there is a light here, to a straight light. And there is a dark there. There is no light there. So they said, you have to take the flashlight or something, but you cannot find your keys where you have not lost it. So this is also one of the experiences of this present time. Because in India, we understand this world is going through different stages, different ages. And so we understand that when there was a golden age, everybody had an acceptance of everyone. Whatever they are doing, perfect. In silver age, they were accepting it with little struggle. In copper age, 
they were accepting with some kind of contract or deal. You do this, I will do this. But in Iron Age, they all were struggling. Okay? Whatever is mine is good. Your is also mine. So we are going through such a kind of time cycle where our human soul is in a different place. And that's why we are not experiencing lightness of our human soul. Joy of human soul. And so it's a time for us to reset our machinery because we all are realizing every single day people are experiencing more and more sorrow, more and more peacelessness, more and more lack of love. So what is the crisis of present time that we need love, kindness, compassion in our life. And if we want to do that, only the way we can do is incorporating everyone, making everyone coming along, holding everyone's hand together. See, if you alone will dance, it will be different kind of dance. You all will come together and dance, it will be different kind of dance. You alone will sing, it's a different kind of song. But you will sing with whole, um, what you say, uh, choir, singing together. And all the mu variety, musical instrument will be together. You know, I have seen certain beautiful videos of uh, Indian songs. And there are 100 people are playing music. Now, with hundred kinds of music instruments and person is singing. Two people are singing, three people or one person. It's such a sweet sound because it's a cooperation of everyone. What you say? Orchestra, right? Orchestra? So life is all about orchestra. So once my mind is ready to understand and accept this orchestra, I will reflect delta waves. I will enjoy the meal without bending my elbow. And I will focus on my tea and coffee rather than my cups. So we all are so special in God's eyes. Once I know that, I will never say it's my way or your way. We'll say it's God's way to live our life with healthy, wealthy, and happy way. Om Shanti. Very nice. Very, very nice. <laughs> I like the story of Buddha. We may all have uh, stories that they liked. It's very nice, Didi. Very, very nice. How to be just calm, huh? Calm in our interactions with everyone. Uh, respectful, accepting. And, but still keeping my own self-respect also, yes? So it's very nice. And working together as a family, as an orchestra, so much nicer, yeah? We can all be right if we look at things in different ways, huh? If we look, so we, you know we say step into the shoes of others, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we have to step into the shoes of others because we don't know where they're coming from. Why we don't know why they're coming from that viewpoint, right? We really don't. We know our own viewpoint. So it's so important to see both sides. So wonderful. Thank you, Didi. Does anyone have questions? Do you, do you want to? We have a little bit of time if you want to put it in the chat bar.
No? No questions? So everyone's in harmony with everyone, huh? Yeah. Then we will do a little kakali meditation. Come yeah. Meditation. Okay. All right. No questions? All right, then. So Anybody can maybe, uh, but you can do stop the recording and they can raise the hand or something. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. So. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone's good comments. Okay, let's take deep breath again. I turn my attention inward. And I see my real beautiful self. I am a soul, sparkling star, divine energy, shining in the middle of the forehead. Detached from this body. Today I'm connecting to my own self. I'm asking myself, do I love myself? Do I love myself? Do I love myself? And if I say, yes, I love myself, how can I get the pure love? How can I create loving energy all around me? Only the way I accept everyone and I appreciate everyone. Each one existence on this planet is unique. My existence on this planet is so unique. We all are God's children. We all are special. Today, I am promising myself that every single day, I will discover my own speciality and I will remain in that special place of my being. I will do things from that special place of my being. I will look at everyone as they all are special. We all are special because we all are God's children.
and so I am redesigning my mindset. Resetting my inner system. With so much faith and trust. That I have to play a special part on this planet. And everyone has to play a special part on this planet. So we want to create the aura of total positive feelings for everyone. I am going to focus on my inner peace because I cannot buy peace. Whatever peace or serenity or calmness I am generating, I want to sustain it. Because I realize I am peaceful soul, I am loveful soul, I am knowledgeable soul. I am divine soul. More and more, I see myself spiritual aspect then everything becomes clear to me. I have compassion for myself and everybody else. I have mercy for myself and everybody else. So today onwards, I am creating new quality of my life. And this is the gift of Raksha Bandhan that we are celebrating, protecting ourselves 